Okay, hi. So I thought it might be fun to go through my old Tumblr, which it's not necessarily an old Tumblr because I still use it, but like <laughs> not much. Um, I thought it would be fun to go through my old Tumblr and make fun of stuff that I used to want to buy because I used to have a big problem when I was a drunken college sophomore with impulse buying cool sh I saw on Tumblr with absolutely no... <laughs> second thought about what my actual finances looked like. The first entry is a Root 119 tank top. Uh, Root 119 is a root in, I think, Pokemon Sapphire in the Hoenn region. And I used to love Pokemon Sapphire when I was eight. And for whatever reason, six years ago, I was like, you know what I should do is spend $33.99 buying a tank top commemorating a random route from a game I played in 2003. I never bought this, but I do reserve the right to bully myself for wanting to buy it. This is annoying because I actually did buy these. <laughs> these are Doc Martens with uh, a selection of the Garden of Earthly Delights by Hieronymus Bosch printed on them, which is one of my favorite paintings of all time. These were from Mod Cloth, I think, and they were like $115. I wore them shopping once and they gave me such absurd heel blisters that I couldn't actually continue wearing them and I had broken in docks before it's a horrifying process that I hate doing they just would not break I could not break them I was wearing them around my house I was wearing them with thick socks I was wearing them to the mailbox it was not working they were lacerating <laughs> my feet so eventually I think I sold them to a consignment store that I live near and then I saw them there the next time I went to that store and it was like seeing an ex in public, but like you're kind of happy for them. Anyway, <laughs> that was a waste of money. Evidently, I really wanted to buy a vegetable spiralizer at one point. My mom gave me a handheld spiralizer for my birthday once, and then I proceeded to use it once to make really not great zucchini noodles, and then never again. <laughs> and then when I moved last year, I got rid of it. So sunrise, sunset, nothing matters. Love it. Okay, like I was ever going to make this, by the way. What are those be- Ew! Beets are so gross. Beets are so... Beets and walnuts? Oh my god, who took this picture? They should go to jail. That's disgusting. If that's goat cheese, I'm going to actually file a police report. Do you guys remember that episode of Doug where he kept having nightmares about having to eat liver and onions and it was like the most inconceivably disgusting meal he could think of was liver and onions? Which I get because liver is also gross. This is my version of that. Actually, no, it's not. If these were scallops or like shrimp or pieces of lobster or crab instead of walnuts, because I will eat a walnut. I love walnuts. Nothing against walnuts. I don't want walnuts to feel like I'm judging them right now. <laughs> if this was like beets, goat cheese, and like gorgonzola and shellfish and a little bit of arugula, then it would be like my salad of horrible foods. <laughs> that was a tangent. Evidently, six years ago, I really, really wanted to buy a, cro a black crop top with holographic anime eyes on it. I ain't gonna hold you, I would still wear this to this day. Um, I went through a really intense obsession with holographic things that we will see pretty much immediately following this post, but I don't think I've given that up, so I might not even make fun of anything in here, but like, had I known where to buy this shirt, not only would I have bought it, I would still own it, and I'd probably be wearing it while I record this voiceover right now. Sometimes we don't grow, and we don't learn. Uh, yeah. Pretty much exactly what I said. This is a holographic VW Beetle. I guess it's less holographic and more like iridescent, but yeah, I don't have a license. <laughs> and I definitely didn't have one six years ago, so I don't know why I was like so enthusiastic. Like maybe learn how to operate a motor vehicle prior. Just a thought. Ooh. <laughs> so I don't actually know who the designer of these is because it's not in the caption of the post, but I absolutely would wear these still. These ornate gold Roman Empress <laughs> This is Sparta. Look at these. These are beautiful. I don't know if I'm outing myself as a weird person here. And I know that wearing shoes in the house is like not, it's just not. But do you guys sometimes take whatever your tallest heels are out of your closet and just put them on to just do random shit around your apartment? My roommate knows this about me now. It's entirely common to come home and find me in my like eight inch platform goth boots just like 
<laughs> sitting on my bed listening to hosier especially now during the pandemic like when else am i going to wear my stilettos if not to sit completely stationary while doing my skincare and watching interstellar okay these still slap this is clothing with like art printed on it um i am a such a sucker for art print clothing i love paintings i studied art history in college which is why i'm so insufferable now all of this is amazing and i would still wear all of it i have nothing bad to say about any of this these are phenomenal when did i want this six years ago and my taste has not changed at all oh wow i mean on the flip side of my taste not changing <laughs> this is a cohort crop top and mini skirt set with little Kanye West faces printed on them. Let's see, six years ago. That's about right. I used to be such a, a violent Kanye West stan. You know how people joke about old Kanye West stans who are like, he's a genius. Everything this man does is calculated and he knows exactly what he's doing and he's so smart. He's the goat man. Like Kanye's never made a mistake in his life. He's never been a problem. That was me in like 2013. I loved him. I think this was from that store Oh Mighty, which I'm not even sure still exists, but if it was, then this was easily like $25, $30. Like this was very expensive. Oh God. Sometimes inaction is the best policy. Okay, well this is cool as shit. I'm not a crystal person. Like I don't have crystals. I understand the importance of them and I would never knock it. It's just not something that is a part of my interests or belief system. But like these are fully rad. Um, like easily the coolest thing I've ever seen. We love it. Ew. What? Ew. Ew. These are so ugly. Okay, so Mod Cloth doesn't sell these anymore, fortunately. Sorry if you like these, but like, ew. <laughs> I don't know what about these me from six years ago was so enthused about, but like, <laughs> not the laces, girl. The print is like fine, but the concept of wearing flats with like a Mary Jane strap and laces, like, what I'm not gonna do is tie my flats, ma'am they're flats if i'm wearing flats i'm already losing in my life what i'm not gonna do is tie them up <laughs> sorry if you like flats i hate them i have worn so many pairs of flats in my life and i have never enjoyed one goddamn second of it i hate flats so much now this 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 is a shoe so going back to the holographic obsession this is a pair of like what looks has to be like a five inch platform ankle strap holographic heel Oh my god, this is what every shoe should look like. I don't, I don't want to see any shoes that aren't these shoes. These are art print socks, which I think are fun in theory. This is the kind of thing you buy for yourself in the checkout line at like a Trident. Wait, Trident is not a chain of bookstores. That is just a bookstore I live near. At a bookstore. <laughs> this is the kind of thing you buy in the checkout at a bookstore as part of a present for someone you don't know that well, but you know that they're like intellectual enough to be into art. So you're like, yeah, they'll probably like these socks with the birth of Venus on them. Merry Christmas, Trent. It's so nice. It's been so nice working three cubicles down from you for the past month and a half. I'm really glad I got you in Secret Santa. Okay. Did I want to buy these Dolce & Gabbana men's blazers? I tagged it with, I need all of this six years ago. Do you need like a dozen Okay, this is not a dozen, it's literally nine. Um, <laughs> I love not knowing math. Do you need nine very similar looking floral blazers? I mean, am I saying that if I was out and about and I saw any person wearing any one of these, would I not like just instinctively give them my phone number and maybe my firstborn? Like, of course I would. These are, the drip is so hard. It's not a drip anymore, it's a downpour. Like this, that drip or drown. And they're certainly not drowning, but I, would not wear these. Would I throw it back for a real one on somebody wearing this? Yes. Not the pants. The pants are ill-fitting. But the blazer, of course. I wouldn't wear it. Why did I think I needed this? This is that same thing as the Kanye. It's like a little printed, there's probably a matching top that we can't see. A little printed skirt. This is probably like $45 from that same store. Oh my god, look at these tags. Babes babes. It's literally just a jersey mini skirt with a handful of Gen 1 Pokemon on it. Oh shit, was I wrong about that? Are any of these not Gen 1? No. No, they're all Gen 1. These, all of them were in the original Pokemon movie vacation short, so it, they were all Gen 1. Never mind, I'm not wrong about it. I've never been wrong about anything in my life. Okay. <sighs> okay, I understand that these are like kind of hard, but also they're not. Like, are they hideous? Yes. Are they beautiful? Yes. 
would I wear them? Of course not. At least I said buy me this and not I'm going to buy this. I'm glad I wasn't seriously considering buying a $59 crew neck, not even with a hood, a crew neck sweatshirt with Sonic all over. Honestly, my qualm with this is not that it is a Sonic the Hedgehog crew neck sweatshirt for $60. I just don't personally like the print. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog was probably my first boyfriend. Um, and we don't need to get into any further detail. I've talked before about how I am constantly struggling against buying things ironically. This is one of the things that I would buy ironically. Actually, you know what, the more I look at it, if this post wasn't from six years ago, I probably would be buying this right now. So, you know what? <laughs> Sometimes, like I said, sometimes waiting is the smart thing to do. Oh God, this is a picture of three MAC lipsticks. I used to be obsessed with the idea of owning a MAC lipstick uh, because the entire beauty community at the time made me obsessed with the idea of wanting to own a MAC lipstick because they were like, MAC lipsticks are the lipstick. Not only do they apply pigment to your lips, they also get this lean in ladies smell like vanilla, which has never been done before. <laughs> it's it's pretty groundbreaking stuff here at Mac. God. Wow. <laughs> Babes, you're not going to wear an oversized galaxy print boat neck sweatshirt. What are you doing? Have you ever seen a more 2013 image? I mean, I'm not going to act like I did an impulse buy other galaxy print stuff because of this blue hellscape of a website. But like, these aren't even that cute. Oh my God, not the black milk leggings. Was I alone in being violently obsessed with owning clothing from black milk? If you guys don't know, I think they're an Australian brand. They sell like jersey dresses and leggings and like little crop tops that are all made out of this like stretchy, shiny material. And they all cost like a thousand dollars per item. Their leggings would be like 110 their dresses would be like 150 super expensive but they were really sought after because they would make stuff with these really cool all over prints they've definitely switched up the clothing they sell a little bit now but they used to be the spot for printed clothes everybody on tumblr wanted something from black milk at some point honestly i would be shocked if there wasn't something else from black milk on my blog <laughs> like in this category of things i misguidedly wanted to purchase i don't personally like the styles of any of these three things, but I would still wear a full holographic outfit. I have not changed that aspect of my personality at all. Babes, you don't need to lust over literally everything that's even kind of galaxy or space themed. This isn't even a cute print. Just because it is stars does not mean you need to want it. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is like literally from Mass Effect. Like this is not real. <laughs> God damn, I loved space. Six, six years ago still. The constellation smug reveals constellations when it is hot. Um, no, this goes hard as hell. I still want this. Love that. God, how many of these stupid cohorts did I want to buy six years ago? It's not even cute. It's like against a white background and they're all scattered randomly. You don't just need to want things because they reference a thing you know about. I don't know if you're aware of that, me from six years ago. Oh, God. Do you remember like the era on Tumblr that was just like Zazzle poetry, like t-shirts and hoodies with irreverent quirky sayings on them? No. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> if I saw someone wearing this in public, I'd be like, damn, their personality is so quirky. Apparently I wanted to buy these sneakers six years ago. I wore like exclusively black. I don't know how I thought I was going to fit any of these into my wardrobe, but I like the implication that I was willing to try. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Not Galaxy print Doc Martens. Oh my God, looking at this image, the 1975 just started playing in my head. Chocolate by the 1975 is now blaring full blast in my prefrontal cortex just from beholding these with my eyes. June 8th, 2013. Damn right it was, my God. Have you ever seen a more 2013 image? Not this fit, not this fit. <laughs> it's not a bad fit. It's just like, I'm kind of struck by how 2013 tumblr it is the tiny printed shorts the printed tights the booties the layered jewelry the kind of like ruffled sort of tucked in shirt not the bow tie the headband the hair the pose everything about this this is time travel looking at this picture Maybe even more so than the Galaxy Print Talk Martins, if I'm being completely honest. I love it. This is a Wild Fox Couture sweater that says as if on it. I still want this. Like I think about this sweater 
outside of looking through my own Tumblr. Like, I think about it sometimes. I'm like, man, I wish I owned that stupid goddamn Wild Fox clueless sweater. Why did I tag this with no way? It's a floral underwear set. What is unbelievable about this? <laughs> the stress with the bees on the collar still goes hard as hell. I would still wear this. Even though when I wear dresses that are like buttoned up with a severe collar like this, I think I just have such a severe face and I look so intense all the time that it just sort of makes me look like the principal from Matilda, especially because I wear tight updos constantly. So it's not really my area. I need to dress a little bit softer and more boho for people to not be afraid of me, but I do love it. This is literally just a gift set of French fries and I tagged it with porn and gimme. Babes, you're literally on a college campus. Like you can go out to two different places on campus and get French fries if you need French fries that bad. Why are you on Tumblr reblogging gifts of French fries? Just go eat them. Take back your life. It's about right. Adventure Time nail polish 2013. Of course, I wanted that. What did I? F what did I say? What did I goddamn say earlier? I knew that wasn't going to be the only pair of black milk leggings that I wanted to buy back in 2013. Look at this. Will somebody come and look at this? Are these all hard as hell? Yes. <laughs> Did I need to be thinking about paying like hundreds of dollars for them? Nari, literally Nari. This bag is absolutely sick. I thought I was gonna be making a lot more fun of this stuff than I have been. Most of this is just stuff that I still want and I'm mad now because it's all from like half a decade ago and none of it's available anymore. Sorry, it's um, not ideal. You live in your land. Hard, 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 hard. Would still absolutely cop everything in this image. Amazing. Flawless, perfect. Let's look at these shoes again. Like, oh God. Okay. <laughs> this is a person wearing a sweatshirt with a panel from the manga of Attack on Titan on it. Um, this has to be from 2013 because I entered and exited the Attack on Titan fandom pretty cleanly within the calendar year of 2013. I used to be so obsessed with that show and then in a heartbeat I just stopped thinking about it. This panel is kind of a meme because it's kind of funny. It's kind of quirky. <laughs> Attack on Titan is definitely a show that exists. Um, we don't have time to unpack all that. I need to get out of here. <laughs> I need to leave. Realize that my obsession with buying things ironically has been a problem in my life for a lot longer than I thought it was. Um, just based off of how I reacted to seeing this image. Uh, this is an image of a model wearing a very tight bodycon dress with an all over print of Steve Buscemi on it. I tagged this with why don't I own this seriously nine years ago, 2011. I was like 16 already like, no, no, I should spend money on a bot. First of putting aside the fact that it's a bodycon dress with an all over print of Steve Buscemi on it. I was not confident enough in 2011 to wear bodycon dresses anywhere. So I don't know who I thought I was convincing. I like the implication uh, reblogging this with why don't I own this with this post that I would wear any of these twee ass dresses to anything. Actually, I think I might be jumping the gun a little bit and criticizing this because I did wear twee ass dresses like this on occasion during this era. When did I want this? Eight years ago? My God. That's 2012, babes. I was 18 and I did kind of dress like that sometimes. Are we gonna have to look back on and roast how I used to dress? Hold on. Yeah, I was just talking a real big game for someone who put this fit together. So I'ma just keep it real cute and real quiet. Babes, not the riding boots. I'm, I'm talking real bold for someone who got showed up by their own mother taking a picture at Abbey Road. My mom's fit is immaculate. I look like a 17 year old with minimal fashion sense, which is what I was, so whatever. And I'm trying to act like I wouldn't have worn those dresses. Look at this. Girl, <laughs> yeah, okay. Not this outfit, not the leggings. <laughs> Not the pristine chucks. Not the vest with this iCarly ass fit. This is what you wear to like be in the studio audience at a live taping of iCarly. That's what this fit is for. This that Disney Channel interstitial fit. This that, hi, I'm Nisa Nisi Pisa from The Sweet Life on Deck and you're watching Disney Channel. Da, 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 da. <laughs> the vest is taking me out, bro. <laughs> I really thought I did something with this. 
Not the Nikon cool pics. I need to get out of here. Actually, wait, while we're roasting old outfits of mine, I have one that I know is gonna absolutely suplex me. This fit's actually cute. I would wear this still. With the blazer? Yes, young professional. I thought she's different. <laughs> Not the fake glasses and the beanie. Not me thinking I wouldn't wear twee dresses when I'm here in gold flower sandals and two different contrasting shades of pink. Girl. Pull it together. God, where is that outfit I was looking for? Uh, yes! Okay, not me looking country music awards ready. I literally look like I'm doing 2009 Taylor Swift cosplay. What is this fit? <laughs> It's the fact that I made sure to match the fake leather of my boots to the fake leather of my belt for me. It's the visible bra straps for me. It's the brooch that I turned into a hairpin for me. It's the iPod dock in the background for me. Please tell me that is not a discarded Seventeen magazine on the ground. The goofy teen energies coming off of this photo are absolutely dealing me intense psychic damage. Not a lava lamp. Ugh, this is the last time I had a queen size bed. I hate adulthood. <laughs> it's the hand gently resting on my shoulder so I can show off my chunky ring for me. God, this outfit is immaculate. <laughs> this fit goes so hard. The open toed flats. <laughs> Baby attempt at a winged eyeliner because I was like 18. The <laughs> this is from like my Beatles rock band console game. Not the Powerpuff Girls pillow. <laughs> Down here, special Easter egg, are the ugly ass sandals I wore to my junior prom. <laughs> my eyebrows. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I really thought I was doing something. Girl, the way I thought I was Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> no doubt in my mind that I listened to video games by Lana Del Rey on loop and then took this picture. It's the incredibly damaged flat ironed hair for me. <laughs> Whoa, first college outfit of the day. This is big news. <laughs> it's like I did a Google search, what do college students wear? And then I just, <laughs> not me opening up the shirt to show off my run DMC t-shirt from H&M. <laughs> <laughs> so my college does a shadow cast production of Rocky Horror every Halloween. This is apparently what I wore to it when I was a freshman in college. And I didn't have any like sexy clothing, so I just kind of improvised. What is this pose trying to accomplish? Just sucking in my stomach as much as humanly possible for this picture. No, 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 no. What an incredible fit, dude. I really thought I did something. Not only did I like wear this outfit kind of a lot, but the denim shirt, the mini skirt, the floral print canvas docks, matching my floral print earrings. Not only did I wear this a lot, this was like on my OkCupid profile when I was 18. I was like, this is a good enough photo of me that I want men to see this. And you know what? I was right. I look adorable. Okay, moving on. We call that bait and switch positivity in the business. These boots, mama. Not the boots. It was absolutely May when I took this picture. Girl, I know you are sweaty in this ensemble. I would just like to let everyone know, I'm currently on the 17th page of my selfie tag on my Tumblr. We're not getting to the end of this. Really, I just had to get us here to the... <laughs> <laughs> the galaxy, to the galaxy print dress. This is kind of where everything culminates. Like, of course, after everything I just showed you, I owned a galaxy print dress. Babes, I wore this outside. Do you understand me? Not these earrings. Like these earrings are excusable because I bought them like when I was a wannabe scene kid. They're from Wet Seal and I got them in like 2008. But the fact that I was still wearing them when I was going into my sophomore year of college, that's what I have umbrage with. That's what I have Dolores umbrage. That's what I take Dolores umbrage with, ma'am. Absolute elite tier fit. We got the ugly. <laughs> Galaxy print button up with the weirdest sleeves I've ever seen in my entire life. The too tight skinny jeans and the knee high suede stiletto boots topped it off with a purple lipstick and a headband that does not match anything happening in this outfit. You got a sophomore year Nisa Nisi piece of fit. It's pictures like this that you can really tell like, oh yeah, I was drunk for this entire school year. 
god, I'm so quirky. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, stop having so much personality. It's intimidating. This is the second and last time I wore that galaxy print dress, and it was to dress as Lumpy Space Princess from Adventure Time for Halloween. October 2013. I changed Halloween forever. <laughs> All things considered, this is a pretty solid costume, I would say. I think I did a good job. My hair. Ma'am, listen, natural hair is a journey, okay? I'm not gonna say anything. We can see things, we can have our own opinions, but we don't need to say anything. <laughs> I will leave you, me, in this picture with two words. Leave in. Okay, thank you so much for playing, ma'am. Absolutely my hardest fit of all time, but we've been over this. I've never done better than this, not here when I was 15, not anywhere. Okay, I think I'm gonna cap it there. I don't really wanna go through my entire selfie tag on my Tumblr because we'll be here for a day. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to interact with me on any other social media sites, I am Nisi Pisa everywhere, except Tumblr, hilariously enough. If you go to nisipisa.tumblr.com, that's not me. I don't know what will happen. Um, thank you so much for watching, goodbye. I just wanted to let y'all know that I am still alive, I do still have a face, and I do unfortunately still exist. I'm just moving in like three days and I've already packed up all my camera equipment. I hate 